Ladies and gentlemen, I am simply known as Logan Miss Prime, and welcome uh, to yours truly reacting, uh, commentating, and uh, doing the shebang uh, to the Runaways. Today, particularly, we're doing episode three, Destiny. Now, I was very hard on this show. God, if you watched my first episode reaction, I was very tough, and, and I think I'm still going to be very tough on this show. Now, there's not necessarily anything wrong with being unique or different. It's just the show is missing a lot. It just Oh, there's just no substance. Now, being up here, there's this comic book called Saga that I have up there. And it's one of my favorite comic books of all time. Brian Vaughn, I think it's his name. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, that guy is freaking awesome. And he's also worked on The Runaways. I, I can't believe that. I didn't know that. A little bit of research and holy shit. That opened my mind a little bit with, uh, like, you know, to see that one of my favorite comic book peoples worked on this uh, not just show up, but actually created uh, the comic book itself. He created these characters. Now, the substance that I was talking about, it's just, uh, there's just no narrative. There's just no, I don't know, ambition or whatnot for the characters. They all just feel so flat and one-dimensional. Now, of course, probably like every other person out there who feels like they're smart, and reading a Wikipedia page in there to be like, oh, what the hell is Runaways about? I only understood what the show's about and, and where it's supposed to lead to. And I wish I didn't read that because now I feel like I have spoilers. So there's pretty much six kids. They have weird parents uh, somehow, some way, and that's it, really. Eventually these kids are going to have some, some sort of ability where they fight back their parents. Now, I haven't read this comic book itself, but at least the show in itself we're seeing it from both perspectives. We're seeing it from the kids' eyes. And we're seeing it from the parents' eyes. The parents themselves don't seem to be too evil or be really extraordinary awful. You know, they seem to have gone to the dark side, if you will, but we don't really know how far in they are. Like, can you be able to pull them back out? That's the question. Now, just to get back on the show, uh, pretty much... Uh, these kids were friends, but they're not friends anymore. He invites all his friends over. They all come hang out. They end up going to his dad's office. They find a secret chamber. They follow the chamber, and they see all their parents in the basement, uh, with putting some girl in a chamber, in a little spaceship kind of thing, whatever. They put her in a light. She disappears. Everyone freaks out. They run away. Now we're left with this question of, what the hell happened? I mean, I feel like that would be a very fun aspect to the show where the kids know and hey, the parents are doing something bad and the parents have no idea, no clue. So, I maybe... I, I really just don't know. I, I don't want to theorize. I don't want to do nothing. I just, let's watch the episode and, and see. And then I'll theorize. <laughs> I'm still very much sick over the weekend and, uh, life sucks. <laughs> Alright, baby, let's do the hulu hulu and start uh, the episode. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the episode. This is the first time you're watching it. I'm going to dissect it. I'm going to commentate. I'm going to react to it. And then by the end of the episode, I'll give like a little quick overview on the plot and where I think the show is going to head. Ah, hello. Hello. I wonder if Hulu stands for something. Yeah. Marvel, Marvel. Yo, I'm glad that this little Marvel logo intro is like, no, it's still too long. But we never got to see what her message reply or anything. Oh, the daddy knows. Um, ooh, they're wearing all black. Oh, uh, it's just like the funeral to one of their the daughter, the the one that died ten years ago. No, that's because she had died ten years ago. Has it been that long since they stopped being friends? Holy shit! Oh, I'll look at the kiddos. They're Kiddos, da. Uh, wait, what? Why is she in a wheelchair? Oh, something must have happened. Wait, two people died. Uh, wait, could that be her parents, the little girl's parents? Because she did say that her parents died in a fire, right? Right. Look at that sass. Ow. Mama got the goods. You got a funeral. And you got to show all that cleavage. My God, I'm not complaining because it's, it's good I knew, but... Damn, Mama. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe they killed them. 
Ooh, the plot of the guns. I like this guy. I like this guy. Very suspicious. Tell me, you're the Asian guy. You should be, like, suspicious, too. You're a smart guy. You variables, right? I'm not being racist, I swear. Even the little vegan people are, are evil. So maybe they all have done some bad things. I still... I'm, I'm still holding out that one of the parents is not entirely bad. Uh, I feel like they're to blame as to why her parents are dead. And more than likely is why they adopted her. Aww. That's awkward. I'll uh, just skip to the present date. What is she looking for her little bin? Or, I mean, her pen thing. All right, lady, you got to control your uh, emotions. Okay, that that's not what I said. Yeah, you asshole. It's, I get it. It's very sentimental to her because her, her dead mom gave it to her. Can you just listen to her? I hate when people do that. Oh, just let me explain. Let me express myself without being someone ex whatever. I hate that purple hair girl. It's the worst. Wait, why she's still into the church? After realizing that her mom's a weird creep. Ah, that too. I mean, from the previous episode, they did agree to keep it normal. And I can't believe, like, I love how the show is just... You know, not skipping ahead. It's like, this is a day later, you know. Not even a day later. This is like the night after. Like, ah, oh, love it. I feel like I only know two of the kids' names. Uh, Alex and Nico. Uh, all right, and, and that's Jace, right? No, I don't know. Oh, shocker. Oh, the purple hair girl doesn't like the blonde girl. What? She got a text message? Wait, what? Let me, whoa, she actually got a message from her? Uh, Destiny, uh, spot open on a church trip to London. Talk soon. Interesting. I mean, my only guess would be is that one of those, uh, of ladies that is with the, the Caroline's mom, she could have her phone and they could have, like, totally be playing with it. But, whatever. This intro is stupid. What do you guys think? I don't like this intro. It's dumb. Doesn't hype me up. I'm fast forwarding this. Oh, she is so gullible. Uh, LARPing. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even think of that. Oh, my God. This purple hair girl is just doing her best to try to hang out with the white boy. Wow. She's quick to be like, I ain't hanging out with you or that chamber. She's talking about the dinosaur. Oh, stop being a jerk, you douchebag! Like, yo, the purple hair girl doesn't even know what happened. He's being a dick. Wait, why is he not telling her about her being drunk and almost getting raped? I can't believe he didn't tell her. But I'm losing respect for purple hair girl. She's being a dick. Just because she wants the dick. Ooh. Oh, it is her. Okay, I thought it would have been someone else. Why is she begging him? Why won't she, like, punch him in the face and run for it? <gasps> oh. He's hearing things? Or maybe he's just... Maybe he's hallucinating. Maybe he's just having regret. <laughs> what is going on with his face? Just give me the time to support. I respect that. I respect that. Oh, look who's here! The hard copy Wow, stuff that we don't even know about. Woo. Well, I can see the end game of this all. Like, 
I see that like the parents are very stuck with being completely wealthy. Like one way the kids could control, one way the kids can destroy their parents' life is by taking the money away. Teach them how to be freaking humble. Ah. She wants to be normal. What? Yes. We may not be able to get back to the way things were, but we can try. I totally agree. I totally agree. Well, like the dad is just not into the mom at all. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to let you like see through everything? Uh oh. Yeah. You should check Um <laughs> freaking weirdo, man. Wow, that girl's a perv. Do all these parents have secret freaking pathways? No one's in there. Huh? I'm afraid our work here isn't done. What do you mean? We checked the box above. Yeah. Oh, why does she still got the pen? Just give it back to her. How do you not have cameras, anything, just to be ultra careful for these situations? Who's Frank Dean? How do you suggest we handle this? And she's dead serious about using that so they can erase that girl's memories. That's some serious stuff. It's the dark side, but I like him. He's very sympathetic about it all. Especially when Sugar Mama is talking to someone in the group. We don't know if she's, she's probably cheating on him. <laughs> That's funny. I don't even know why it's funny. Wow, this guy really does not like his wife. It's just no idea how to open this thing. I mean, just try open sesame. Um, I doubt that. I bet you have a weird way of fighting them. Oh, excuse me. Very suspicious. Ah, oh, too much information. Is she gonna try to escape? Oh, uh, why do the bathroom have bars? Oh my god, she's about to go chaos! What is she doing? What is she doing? Excuse me, ma'am. There's a lion. Oh! You'll be colored today. Because that's not suspicious enough. Okay, this girl's nuts. <laughs> You left your homework and all the good stuff over there. Oh, every time she uses her ability, it, it knocks her out. And also, uh, when you're homemade, that gives you that girl's eyes. What about right now? I'm in the kitchen. Oh! You said you, uh, you texted oh! You sent that like 30 minutes ago. Oh, you're almost caught! Oh! No! Is the door closed or what? Oh, it, it magically closed. Okay. Did she really just. Oh my god, what is she doing? Ah, ah, this is awesome! She's, oh, she's good, man. I believe her too. Uh, oh. Yeah, I know. That's very suspicious that they were part of the same group. More than likely are, are dead because of them. Again, I don't understand how none of these parents have surveillance, hidden camera, something. Nada. 
What? What? How did it open? Did you have to say a particular word? Is that her, her sister's diary thingy? Wait, what? It's snowing? Right, because of the staff. Uh, she's like a, a, a priestess, if you will. Like, she's like a witch. She can make spells. I wonder if it's actually an illusion or real, because if there's actually snow in that office, your mom's going to freak out. You know, I've never had halibut in my entire life. I've missed this, Robert. Just the two of us. Alone. What is that, like fish or something? Oh, she is trying to be sensual. What? She took her underwear off. I don't know how he can put his penis from that other side unless it's that low. I huh? She wants to get it in. What? This is your wife. What? Wow. This guy is just not attracted to his own wife. So now I'm starting to think that it's him. He's the one flirting with the uh, sassy black wife woman. Ah, that's awkward. She saw the underwear. Wow. He bounced. What? I'm sorry. Oh my god, what a vagina. I mean, I understand that they, they lost a daughter and whatnot, but hey, this is her trying to get back to normal, if you will. It's it's taking steps forward, right? Why is the lights turning on every time she walks? Wait, how is the phone disconnected? What? <laughs> Wait, isn't that like the wall itself, the painting? That's exactly what she is. Because once she takes that bracelet off, she turns into like this weird phoenix bright rainbow chick. Interesting symbolism. So when you said oh my god, it's legit snowing. Stop hurting people. Oh, awkward. Awkward conversation having in public. 30 of the Carnitas 15 barbacoas. <laughs> what? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Senor, muy guapo. What? You know we're going to have to tell the girls. Hard job, okay. With some beautiful they all seem like parents. They seem like ordinary people with just, Spontaneous I don't know, weird fetishes, I guess. No naked chick. Positive? Not today. Ah, play a play. Uh, uh, all right, buddy, don't be too cocky now. Wait, what is this? Who are these people? Wait. Oh! What? The Asian guy and the, um, and the church lady. Uh, you got enough time to melt everything. There's no way. They don't, they don't have a realistic enough time to melt everything. Why do they have a computer that, like, tells them when their parents get home? Who designed something like that? That's messed up. All she wanted was some, like, bootang stuff. She wanted some penis, and her freaking husband is cheating at her. <laughs> what are you grabbing? I just thought no. that that's where. Okay. <laughs> Here, I thought you were thinking of your. <laughs> 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 oh, this is so fun! Hey, I'm starting to realize this show has a really like a, a, an interesting pattern. Um. Everyone seems to have a hard time telling each other the truth, you know? Just say the truth. Whoa. Ah, 
she's just smiling. What? They've been screwing each other for a while. What? Wait, maybe. I have to make a contest. Maybe she's fucking everybody. I mean, having a weird dinosaur in the basement, do you think it'll have, like, noises? It'll make rawr noises. Yeah. Wait, how is she. How is he not able to see through her clothes? You saw my actor's bit. Isn't that what you call it? Like a double standard or whatever? Yeah. Of actors trying to treat as a patriarchal oppression. Me getting to object to fight you is just called evil. No, you sexist person that you are. Feminist. Damn, what kind of door is that? So now, the presented usage of that word can apply to each man. Ugh. Women. Wow, I can't believe he actually opened the door! Oh! What the hell is that? Oh my god. It is like a Velociraptor. Oh my god! Shit! This is Jurassic Park! What? What's going on? How does it know how to run upstairs? How did she even understand him? He, all he is is like making breathing noises. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 The plot of the kids. How did she get in the water? Oh shit! Why is it getting better? Does this mean what I think? What? I don't know what this means. What does it mean? We're gonna need another sacrifice. Oh, they need another sacrifice. All right, and that about ends uh, the episode. So they're gonna need to kill someone again or sacrifice uh, in order to gain something out of it that's what i'm starting to think i guess i'm assuming that they do sacrifices once a year or whatever ever and it seems like maybe they take turns earning or gaining something from them or maybe they gain something a little bit from from each sacrifice because the biggest thing that they seem to all share or earn is their wealth they've gotten rich but through those sacrifices. It's not some literal sacrifices, it's legit killing people to gain something. That's, that's wicked. And now it seems like the world is crashing apart because a lot is coming out. You know, obviously the parents themselves are cheating on each other, they're lying to each other. You know, they're holding a lot of secrets and things are getting real. On top of their own children now finding out their own dark secrets, so. That's wicked alone. So the show is picking up. It's I like this. I the show needs more conflict. It, it needs more, uh, more, more of this. <laughs> I, I'm totally digging this. I, I'm liking the Runaways. It's it's a very fun but very slow paced show. Which to me, I feel like it would have been great if they would have dumbed it down to like a 40 minute, 42 minute show. But whatever. So th this episode had quite a lot that happened. I mean. Um, so you had, uh, it's hard to even remember what these characters' names are because there's so goddamn many. So um, so you had uh, uh, the black parents, pretty much, trying to understand what the kids were doing, and then they found a hairpin from Molly, the girl who has the, the freaking super strength, if you will. She confronted her to say, hey, what the hell happened? She ended up just coming up with a lie, saying that they were just looking for liquor and blah, blah. She got pressure into it. I think the lie worked because, you know, the, the black mom was going to, like, inject her with some memory eraser, and I guess that didn't happen. All the kids made a pact. They made a plan to figure out any little secret each parent could have. Uh, the black son, Alex, I believe his name, he didn't get a chance to actually go and look into the, the secret chamber from his parents because, coincidentally, his parents were already home. Uh, Nico uh, managed to play with the staff that her mom has and created a snowstorm in her office which is pretty cool. 
Then you had the jock and the, the purple hair girl. Um, you had them, and um, they managed to be at his parents' uh, like weird basement full of tech, whatever, and they ended up getting some goggles that could see through things. They managed to see the little box that they put Destiny in, and she wasn't in there. That managed to go to the Purple Hair's house, parents see what the hell weird monster is there, and they end up releasing the dinosaur. So now this dinosaur's on the loose. I mean, I hate being so vague because I still don't know these characters' names. Or I need to educate myself on that. On top of it all, the biggest thing that just happened is the girl that they supposedly sacrificed, uh, is, is they, she was, her body was found at a lake or the beach, whatever, so that's gonna be very confusing they're gonna need a new sacrifice and I can only imagine what's gonna happen are they gonna pick one of their own kids or are they gonna like what's gonna happen oh my god all right guys leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section be it about anything I discussed theorized reacted to I love to hear what your opinions are whether you guys agree with me or not feel free to subscribe to my channel or like my video that'd be freaking awesome if you do and as always god bless you keep peaceful and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye